Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm actually going to talk about something completely different what I normally do on my channel. Uh, I've just been on a beautiful hike. You can check out all the clips, they are coming here. <laughs> Yeah, my friends, so what do you think about my nice little hike today up to Brikafjalla? It's a beautiful place, the view is fantastic. It's quite windy today, but uh, that's all right. Today, I just want to make a kind of different video that I normally use, do, <laughs> not use. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about my YouTube journey and uh, where I'm at today and what my plan is. I started YouTube in 2020, January 2020. It's four and a half years ago. It has been quite a journey, really fun. I, did, I made quite a few mistakes and I also did some smart moves to, to grow my channel. In the beginning on my channel, I only created drone related content, mostly me flying drones and trying to capture some beautiful cinematic footage. It was really fun and I learned quite a lot, but I saw pretty fast that making content like that wasn't the way my channel should be or the way I want to go because it's extremely difficult to get a big audience to uh, content related just to drones and flying drones and just showing people beautiful uh, sceneries. So I did, I had to make some changes. So I actually dropped out of the drone video niche and started to make some um, content related to camera reviews with action cameras and 
pocket cameras and stuff like that and it seems to work a little bit better than just filming drone videos it works for my channel but the grow the growth to my channel was pretty slow it was pretty difficult to gain an audience and, and uh, of course that maybe that I'm not good at it but that's fine but I decided for a year and a half ago that it's time to do something else uh, I want to do more related to my interest and that's nature is one of my interests but also politics so I needed to make a change to my channel so I changed my channel name and I did change my channel actually I started to make videos like I'm doing today out in nature hiking camera reviews tech reviews trying to get some sponsorships and brand deals and it seems to be working for my channel but since I'm also interested in politics I was thinking about starting um, not a channel but screw it I just mixed it in with my content as it is today but only related to short content on politics and I'm interested in American politics I think it's funny it's freaky it's strange it's stupid but it's important too um, because of all the fucked up things that is happening in the world today American politics is quite important for us and shorts actually works my channel has grown quite a lot I'm at 15,000 subscribers now and it seems to be working for me and uh, so I'm gonna stick to that but I'm also gonna I'm planning also to do more camera tech reviews but I really want some kind of brand deals with uh, companies that can support my channel with gear so I can review it or maybe some paid sponsorships but that's going to be a little bit later I think I need to, to grow a little bit more and, and gain more traffic to my channel so companies see that it's interesting to work with me but I have pretty big goals and um, I'm going to make it and if you want to make it on YouTube you have to adapt to what people want to see some people are criticizing me for mixing especially politics into my channel because they think it can destroy my channel that's that's possible of course but it hasn't uh, been negative for my channel yet I grew on quite an audience of course people that are watching my uh, shorts uh, related to politics American policy they may be not watching my other content but that's fine it's adding subscribers to my channel and I get a lot of views on my shorts and uh, maybe some of the, those people actually want to see my other content so I think it's a, it's an all right risk to take uh, as long as it works so for people that are sticking to one niche and don't want to adapt or change you're probably never going to grow at all I think you need to adapt I think you need to take some risks and gamble a little bit I have a lot of friends of mine that are sticking to one niche and they are doing a great job uh, but of course it's extremely difficult to get an audience and grow and uh, I think you have to, to do some changes and try to adapt if you really want to succeed on YouTube my goals is actually to get to I don't know I don't want to say a number but I'm at 15,000 subscribers now and my channel has grown quite a lot especially the last six months uh, so my goals for 2025 by the end of 2025 is actually to be around 100,000 subscribers that's extremely high of course but why not try to set a high number uh, and of course I need to push content and I have to have some brand deals or some sponsorships and uh, my content has to work and be interesting for people to watch but I think it's possible I think it's possible I'm gonna adapt I'm gonna make the necessary changes so people will watch my channels I have some ideas for this channel but I also have some idea for another channel I'm thinking about starting I'm not quite sure yet I'm not gonna talk about that now because it's in the planning but my channel for now is going to be like it is today um, hopefully I can uh, 
attract more companies to my channel so they want to sponsor sponsor me and work with me of course and then it's possible to to uh, get more audience to my channel so people think it's interesting i'm planning also to do some kind of um, i need to be better at my editing skills and, and uh, color grading and stuff like that so i probably gonna take some courses so i can develop that skill i still have my main work of course and that's a fantastic job i still have my family i want to have time with them but i see that it's possible so my channel has been monetized now for the last six months not more than that i actually wasn't monetized before i had over 10,000 subscribers almost 10,000 subscribers because you need that watch time and it's extremely difficult with shorts i think you have 10 mil you need to have 10 million views in 90 days and with normal content you have to have 4,000 watch hours so it's it's quite difficult so that's why why you need to be consistent and push content to your channel all the time and hopefully people are watching it um, so just adapt take the risk try to gamble a little bit and if what you're doing today doesn't work if that's fine for you that's fine but if you really want to grow you have to adapt to what people want to see and make those necessary changes uh, because it's extremely difficult to to have one niche and if it doesn't work and if you continue to stick to it it probably will never work uh, there's a lot of things you can do you can cheat a little bit and you can uh, copy content from other people not copy them but trying to make the same content as them but with your twist to gain more viewers and subscribers so everything is actually possible you just need to make them those changes so i have big goals for my channel that's i'm willing to say that i think it's important to take the risk and gamble a little bit and see what works and what doesn't work just just do it just have fun with it so um yeah that was just, just a quick video for me what do you think have i reached my goal has i done something right or am i doing everything wrong do you think what i'm doing today is working do you like my content so i have a lot of uh, goals and i think it's all right set high goals just take the risk and gamble that was a helicopter so uh, yeah i'm going to continue to grow hopefully i can attract more views to my channel and and grow and uh, earn a living on this that's my biggest dream but i don't think that's possible yet maybe in a couple of years so just so my advice is what you're doing today doesn't work you have to adapt you have to change if your goal is to grow on youtube if not just stick with what you're doing try to learn try to see what other people do try to listen to advice there's a bunch of videos on on youtube and how to grow and all of that i never watch them actually i just try to do what i'm doing of course i take some tips and and, and tricks from other people but just make those necessary changes and do it try it if it doesn't work just skip it and try something else you need to adapt you need to make those changes so um, yeah that was my four and a half years on youtube and i'm gonna grow trust me so thank you so much for watching and as always i see you on the next one